or may not be able to see over my shoulder that there's a long line of people who are trying to get tickets from Fenway Park. Of course, there are plenty of tickets available on the secondary market, but boy, it could cost you thousands. Yeah, there were other fans, though, who lined up very early this morning. They wanted to get those first-come, first-served tickets that are definitely more affordable, and they all seem to be in a celebratory mood as long as they were out there, and believe me, they waited a long time for the box office to open. WBZ's Paul Burton is live tonight with more on these eager fans. Paul? I can tell you, I am with some very excited and fired up fans right here because you know what? In exactly three minutes, these gates are going to open and all these fans are going to come rushing in to get the tickets that they've been waiting for, the World Series Game 1. This guy right here, what's your name, young man? My name is Chase. Chase, how excited are you for this? One to 100, 1,000, like one, over 1,000. It's my first World Series game while well, being at it, and I'm pumped. I'm absolutely pumped. And so many people are like this young guy, Chase, fired up. Here is their moment. They've been waiting all day. Check it out. They came, they waited. Now it's time to receive. It's okay to be last in line. This is worth it. That's right. Day of Game 1 World Series tickets are now available for fans in just a few hours before the first pitch. Equipped with folding chairs and big cups of coffee, folks stood in line for hours, even in the pouring rain. But they don't mind one bit. Go Sox! Number one. Eh? Danielle Lawrence Taylor is first in line. She's been here since Monday on behalf of her 16-year-old son, Nicholas. For her, this goes back to the last time the Red Sox were in the World Series, where they just missed getting game tickets. He was pretty bummed out. He was upset, and I promised him that the next time we went to the World Series, we would go. Best team ever! It's the hottest ticket in town, and fans are not ashamed to shell out some serious cash. Brian O'Malley of StubHub says there are still tickets available. The average ticket price is around $980, but you can get in tonight currently for around $345. Julie Miller is from L.A., but a diehard Red Sox fan. She paid five grand for two tickets. Her friend Tanya says that's a bit out of her league. For me, uh, no. There was no cutoff. Wow. I was coming regardless. <laughs> and for you, is your cutoff? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I have kids. And there are a lot of kids here tonight who are fortunate enough to have these tickets. They're going in line right now. The gates just opened up. They're getting their tickets. These are folks that had vouchers. They were here first. It's a first come, first serve basis. They are so excited. They're finding out right now where they will be sitting. The sun is out at Fenway Park, and fans are pumped. We're live at Fenway Park. I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News. Back to you. All right, Paul. Thanks. Those folks probably feel.